everyone. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you could stop by today because I have got a really simple but awfully fun flashcard 2.0 for you today. It's a really great um, thank you card. Of course, this you could see it really could be anything. I've got a really fabulous border, but check out the inside. I've got another fabulous border on the inside. This one was so quick and easy. Let's get going with our card today. All right, my card stock for today is in Calypso Coral. I have that cut at 11 inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. So you can see it's a standard medium sized card will fit into a Stampin' Up! medium sized envelope. My Flashcard 2.0 pieces are in Island Indigo and Whisper White. Now, if you are unfamiliar with flashcards or flashcards 2.0, not a problem. Just go to YouTube and do a quick search. Connie Stewart, Flashcards 2.0. It'll be the first video to pop up and I'll share with you how to create this simple template We keep these pieces on hand and whenever we need a card We just grab them stamp them layer them and go it's fantastic And I've got tons of videos in this series. So you're gonna to want to check that out Okay, well, we're actually going to do a little cutting on these pieces before we get started All right, I bought I brought my uh, stamp and trimmer in and um, this piece is actually a two and an eight And we need to cut it in half so it's going to be two and a sixteenth. I know you're gonna hate me for that sixteenth, but guys, it's just the first little tiny tick mark past the one. So don't let that number stress you. I'm just gonna line that up. We're gonna cut that in half. So got that done. Now on my Whisper White, this is actually, the flashcard is two inches. But guys, I need to cut it even just a hair less than one inch. So um, I'm gonna go the one tick mark less than one. So I don't know what that measurement comes to probably some I don't know goofy something or other now We're gonna do the same thing to this one again. Just a hair less than one And whoops it slid on me. We're gonna give that a cut There we go. So that's my little sliver Whoop, trash getting rid of that. Okay I'm gonna move my trimmer out of the way and one thing I want to do before um, I actually get to stamping is Let's just lay these on here and make sure I get just a little bit of pop of that island indigo and um, looks like this one's just a little bit thicker, but that is not a problem. We can go ahead and start to stamp on these. So let me bring in a stamping mat. This makes my life so much easier. I'm going to be using um, the stamp set Bordering Blooms. You guys have seen me use this one a lot. I love it. It's so fantastic. I'm going to be using this um, little flower stamp here. I've got an Island Indigo. I'm sorry. Ooh, let me try again. I've got an Early Espresso ink pad. And um, we're just gonna ink that up. I'm going to stamp it. Oh, this is what I love about photopolymer stamps. I can see right where that's gonna wanna go. You do notice I'm using my stamping mat. That's really important when you're working with photopolymer. It gives it just the right amount of little cush underneath you so that your stamped images come out perfect every time. We're kinda all about perfect around here. We like that. All right, those are both stamped. And now I'm going to come in with some of our subtle markers. Let me give you my colors here. I got Blushing Bride, So Saffron, Calypso Coral, Pear Pizzazz, and Pool Party. Now this comes in an entire pack of 10 colors. We're going to be using five of them. And um, I'm not going to bore you to tears with all the coloring, but basically, you know, I'm going to take my Pear Pizzazz and I'll color in the leaves. And um, then I can take that So Saffron and I'll color in the little dots. And so basically, we're going to get these all colored, make them gorgeous, make them pretty, and then we'll go and continue with our card. All right, I've got those all colored. You can kind of see my color combination, but you know how it is. Use what colors make you happy. That's kind of how I worked out mine. Let me go ahead and bring in those Island Indigo pieces. What I really loved about using the Island Indigo on this is what a great, big, bold pop of color that Island Indigo gave me, and that's really what I was looking for. Now, as I adhere this, you're gonna notice that um, I'm a little long on one end because of how I cut it, not a problem. Just take your paper snips and just trim that off. There's no need to get out your paper trimmer. It's a tiny little cut. You should be able to get that straight. In fact, let me make my life easy and just do that while we get this other one adhered down again. I'm gonna take it up here at the top lining it up and then I can just trim off the excess. All right, it's time to go ahead and put this onto our card base. And when I adhere this one down, again, I'm just gonna go easy, and I'm going to adhere this right here on the left-hand side. 
And now I'm going to come in with another stamp set. This is called Another Thank You. This is a photopolymer set. Oh, I love this set. This is a really great one because there's so many different thank yous in there. Oops, let's bring in my stamp -a mat because that's just kind of an essential here. All right, so I'm going to take my thank you. I'm going to just stamp it right there at the bottom. While I've got this out, let me go ahead and do something on the inside. I'm going to take two more stamps from that same another thank you. And I've got a thanks, and I'm going to put it all the way over on the left-hand side. I've got a so much, and I like it because it's in a totally different font, and we're going to stamp it right there. So i got a thanks so much. Now we can take this other strip and we can add it to the right hand side of the inside of our card. So we can put that one right there. Don't you love that? I love that I have something on the inside and on the outside. Well, you know what? It was really cute just like that, but I wanted to add just one more little bit of uh, oomph. And so I'm gonna take the candy dots. I'm absolutely in love with candy dots. Let me start. These are the subtles, by the way. I'm going to put a So Saffron down. I'm going to put a pool party. And my last one is Blushing Bride. Hey, that's my idea of a flashcard right there. I'm telling you what, look at that. Fast, fast, easy, easy. That's what we're all about. So let me show you here on the inside. There's the inside. There's the front. Really great card. What do you think? Is that one that you're going to be able to incorporate into your flashcards? <laughs> I sure hope so. It really is a great, uh, great stamp set and a very simple and easy card. Of course, you can create that too. Uh, you could leave the sentiment off, add it when you're ready, make it a happy birthday, maybe uh, thinking of you or get well. All of those are going to work great for this card. Well, guys, thank you um, for being here today. Remember, you can order any of the products that I use at Bordering Blooms or the Another Thank You stamp set. You can find those at simplysimplestamping.com. There's an online order button right up there at the top for you. Just click on that. Um, I'm going to have a complete supply list for you there. Also in the YouTube video, I've got a list for you there as well. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out simplysimplestamping.com. And guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. And thank you for um, all the support you've given the flashcard series. I'm having a ball sharing with you. So thanks and have a terrific day. I'll stamp with you soon. Bye-bye.